Shape Editor can be found in most of the plugins from Melder Production. For example, we can see it in M Wave Shaper as a main working panel, as a transformation shape panel in modulators, and in M Dynamics as a compression transfer function. It's also used in oscillators and LFOs as a waveformer. The shape can have an unlimited number of points joined by curves with variable curvature. To create a new point, double-click somewhere in the editor by the left mouse button. The same action on the point deletes it. To select several points, click on an empty space in the editor, then drag a green rectangle over points you'd like to select. Currently, selected points are of the green colour. To add more points to a selection, hold the Shift key. Control a selects all points in the editor. To remove a point from the selection, press and hold Control and hover a mouse over the point. Ignore a pencil tool for now. When a hand icon appears, click on the point. You can move around an entire selection by clicking and dragging any of its points. To delete a group of points, first select them, then press Delete on a computer keyboard. You can freely move a point by clicking on it first and then move it in any direction you like. For fine movements, press and hold the Shift key. All points have T-shaped smoothing controllers. Hover your mouse over them and get a horizontal double arrow icon. When it appears, click and drag a needed controller to smooth the transition on its side. Or hover the mouse over the point to get a hand icon. Now, use a mouse wheel to smooth the curve. In this case, both controllers are being set simultaneously. This method also works with a group of points. First, make a selection. Next, hover the mouse over any point until you see a hand icon. Now, use the mouse wheel to smooth out the entire selection. To reset a smoothing controller, double click on it. A small circle in the middle of a segment sets the segment's curvature. Click and drag the circle to change the curvature. Double click on it if you want to straighten the segment. If you hover the mouse over a segment, you'll see a vertical double arrow icon. It allows you to move a whole segment up or down. Simply click and drag. Right click opens the properties pop-up window relevant to currently selected points. If nothing is selected, properties for all points are shown. Drawing mode allows you to draw any shape you like. After that, all smoothing controllers are hidden. You can temporarily enter this mode by holding the control key and moving the left mouse button. To delete the point, use control right mouse button. After that, all points below and above the mouse will be deleted. If you'd like to protect points from occasional movements, you can lock them. First make a selection, then activate locked option. Locked points are of the red colour. To unlock the points, select them again and turn off the option. Snap to the grid X and Y tie a point movement to positions of lines on the grid. The icons with the magnet on the right allows you to select a size of the grid. The options from 3 to 16 divide the grid into equal intervals. When off, a default grid is used. Insert points adds a point at a place you just right-clicked.
step sequencer can help with a quick design of a step-like curve. It can have up to 32 steps. Of course, you can still edit each step in the shape editor later on. Distribute points equally spreads the selected points along the horizontal axis and thus creates an equal space between them. The randomize button sets the selected points to new random values on the vertical axis. Mirror X and Y swaps the selected points on horizontal and vertical axis accordingly. The Clear Points button delete the selected points. If no points are selected, all points will be deleted, potentially leaving the required ones only, depending on the plugin. The Curvature panel offers 12 different options for a segment curvature. To change the curvature, right-click on a small circle icon in the middle of the segment, and in a pop-up window, select the curvature type you like. If no circle icon is seen, select the left point of the segment first and then right-click anywhere in the editor to open the pop-up window. If no points are selected, a new curvature type will be applied to all segments. Note that some of the curvatures cannot be moved at all. Others can be moved both vertically and horizontally. The five types on the far right represent ready-made shapes that can really speed up your editing process. In these cases, Curvature Icon sets either number of steps for stairs or periods for pulses, saw, triangles and signs. When the integral curvature buttons is lit, the number of steps or periods is always an integer, one, two, three, four, etc. That helps to avoid a discontinuity at the end of a segment. However, if that's what you want, then turn it off. Now you can assign any intermediate value. Clear curvature button sets a selected segment's curvature to default value. Again, if no points are selected, the curvature of all segments will be reset. Smoothing panel is where you define the way smoothing controllers work. By default, the lock sides button is lit. That means that no matter which right or left controller you choose to move, both of them will be shifted simultaneously. When unlit, you can work with them individually. Frequently, both sides around a point must be smoothed out equally. To get that, turn on the proportional button. However, a smaller side puts a limitation on it. For an independent control of each side, turn off the button. Faster smoothing enables another CPU saving algorithm. However, it can introduce some unwanted artifacts. Clear smoothing resets the selected smoothing controllers to their default positions. The editor like this wouldn't be complete without flexible zooming. For a zoom to position, direct a mouse pointer at the area you like and use the mouse wheel. 
For a zoom to selection, hold the Alt key and select an area you want to zoom. For independent horizontal and vertical zooming, use the magnifying glass icons located at the bottom right corner. The icon with the plus sign zooms in. The one with the minus sign zooms out. Use the scroll bars below and on the right to move around the area. For a full zoom out, click on the icons with the small rectangle inside. Happy Shape Editing.